Toss to Larry Johnson. Johnson off to the races, cuts to the middle of the field. Now it's a foot race. Larry Johnson, one man to beat. No way. Touchdown. He's over 200 in the first half. Eighteenth rushing touchdown of the year, but the longest play Michigan State's allowed all season, 78 yards. When he made the cutback to the middle of the field, Bob, you knew it was over. Oh, yeah, you knew it was over. I mean, it was almost too easy for him. It was a great run. Crowd is just rocking at Beaver Stadium for their senior number five, who is 56 yards shy of 2,000. Again, the snap. Now Gold picks it up, and he does a Garrow Yupremi, and he'll go down. Hey, <laughs> no, no knock on Garrow, but that was kind of ugly. Yeah. 208 yards, almost 15 yards a carry. Only needs 56 to reach 2,000. A little fake into the line of scrimmage, and then a toss. Watch as it holds the linebackers. Look at these linebackers. Here's one. Here's the defensive end. They're going the other way around in. Brian Johnson, 24, gets a nice block. When he cuts back, he's got all these blue jerseys right there. He is gone. I mean, every time he gets the ball, he thinks big play. Guy leads the nation in rushing now. And he also leads in all-purpose yards, is fifth in scoring. He's about 225 pounds. The coaches say it's between 5 and 6% body fat, and nobody ever runs him down from behind. It's amazing. He's trying to join a group that's pretty impressive, and the guys in the yellow have won Heisman trophies. Yep, that's something special. He'll be there soon. But you see that shot pre previous before we put this graphic up? That was of the offensive line. Iorio and McKelvey and Lenda and Schmidt and Felder. And they are the ones that go to Paterno and say, hey, let's go. We need more yards. We want to get him 2,000. As Donald just throws it out of bounds. Michael Haynes has got to be saying, ref, how much jersey does he have to do to pull me down? You remember a couple of years ago, Larry Johnson, when, when the team was not was not winning? Right. Larry Johnson was one of the guys as a redshirt freshman, a redshirt sophomore, who questioned Joe Paterno and questioned some of the guys. You know, it was really a shock. And uh, for him to come out and say, hey, we're not doing what we should be doing. We ought to be doing this. Our offense is too, too uh, predictable. Right. We ought to be more open and we ought to do this. And Franny Ganner was talking about that the other day and said, you know, he said it. We all agreed with it. Everybody might have been thinking about it, but Larry's the only one that said it. Yeah, and, every, and Joe said maybe we are. Joe didn't give him uh, give him a lot of static for being a young guy speaking up. Around here, you wait your turn. Right. Juniors and seniors play. The freshmen and sophomores, you know, you just get in line. Joe also said Larry Sr. came into my office, shut the door, and said suspend the kid. Yeah. And Joe said, ah, he's just speaking his mind. Yeah, and he so said he's probably he right, that. and he was right. And that sometimes you need that even... When you're a legend, you ought to listen to the young guys, and maybe they're right, and he did. Let's check in with Mike. And, Brad, there was a very poignant moment right before the opening kickoff. They introduced Larry Johnson. The, the place went crazy for his final game in his senior year. As he came through, his dad, Larry, was waiting for him, gave him a big hug. His mom, Christine, gave him a big hug. And guess who was waiting next? It was his brother, Tony. And Tony and Larry embraced for a good minute. And when they pulled apart, there were tears in both of their eyes. Tony jogged off the field knowing that Larry was going to the NFL next year and he'd be back here one more time trying for the same goal. There's the lady I said deserves a lot more credit. Christina on the left. That's Teresa on the right. She's a third baseman on the Penn State softball team. I mean, Joe's got to be thinking, why couldn't mom and dad be younger and give us a whole other batch of Johnsons? <laughs> I'm not so sure that the sister's not the best athlete. Well, that could be. <laughs> She's Tony's twin sister. Uh-huh. From the 22, on third and eight. Down to Allen, trouble, and down he goes. I don't think they're going to give Haynes part of that. Jimmy Mitchell, the linebacker, did most of it. Otherwise, it would have been the half sack that Haynes needed to join 
the single season sack record, but I think Mike was just in the area. Jimmy Mitchell did most of that work. Michigan State is 0 for on their third down conversions, 0 for 8. It's been a tough day, a really tough first two quarters. Look out for the other Johnson. He's not related, but he can kill you too as he's already taken a punt return for a score and had another one that was one he almost broke open. Daily to punt. And from this field position, you almost feel like you're running downhill. He's going to have a shot at it. Brian Johnson from the 47. He just powers through people up to the 40. Nice return. Our Pacific Life game summary. Larry Johnson's been most of the offense, but don't forget Zach Mills' quarterback draw from five yards out was good for a score. Brian Johnson, 81 yards on a punt return for a score. And then Brian Johnson on the receiving end from Zach Mills on a perfect pass for another touchdown. Now the crowd is starting to anticipate 2,000. 36 yards is what he needs. People are standing up out of the shotgun. Here's a handoff inside. And only got about a yard. I don't know that I've ever been at a Penn State game where everybody at the same time stood up other than on a score. But when the offense took the field a moment ago, everybody stood up for number five. And I think it's going to be one of those things where they don't sit down right. until he gets 2,000. You got a couple things working here. You got, you got, it's 41 to nothing. It's going to be that or more at half. You got a running back who wants to get 2,000. You got Joe Paterno not wanting to embarrass the other team on the other sideline. Second down and eight. Larry Johnson closing in on the magical number. Gets the toss. Johnson, here he goes. This is 2,000 plus for Larry Johnson. Touchdown, Penn State. And he does it with style. 38 yards, his fourth touchdown of the day. And look at his lineman. They know, and she knows. for the senior. Let's see if the old man meets him on the sideline. Oh, yeah. He might have to wait in line. There's little brother Tony. And now here comes dad Come and on. son. Come on. There it is. Good job, boys. Both of you. Proud of you. You raised a good son. You raised a great running back. Gold for the extra point. It's all been worth it. Sure has. I know Michigan State doesn't like it too much, but it's been fun for us to be part of it. The 10th player in college football history with over 2,000 yards, and he does it in less than a half. As Bob said, every play with him can be a big play. Here comes another one. He's looking for it, runs right through it. Now, part of this, I mean, this is, this is, a, this is a lot of Penn State, but it's also some, some of Mi Michigan State just kind of not making the plays and giving up. This is not a good Michigan State defense. And there it goes. What a way to do it. There's little brother Tony into the mix. Here come the Hogs. And mom, her eyes look a little teary, don't they? <laughs> there we go. She's got the camera with the big lens, but all she wanted to do was celebrate. She what'd forgot she about the pictures. What'd she say? My, my baby? My baby. <laughs> Touchdown, my baby. <laughs> the folks that didn't know, they just saw it on the scoreboard. But there's a whole bunch of people that knew a long time before that because there's flash bombs going on all over this place. Kick will not be returned again. That last drive, well, it was just... Larry Johnson at the steering wheel. Two plays, 40 yards in 46 seconds to put him over the 2,000 mark. So the newest member of the 2,000 club, and that's some pretty high cotton right there. Yes, sir. Pretty high cotton. Could there be a Heisman at the end of all of this? Who knows? Some people would say is 9-3 and three good enough. We've heard people question what he did. 
in the games against the teams they lost to. I think what people fail to realize, he may not have had the best rushing games in there, but go back and look at his kickoff returns and his receiving statistics in those games. Yeah. You might change your mind well, a little bit. As we said, coming into the ball game today, he led the nation in all-purpose yards. That's returns, passing, and, uh, and rushing yards. And he's way the number one rusher now because Chris Brown's idle today for exactly. Colorado. Exactly. At the conclusion of today's game, we'll select a Chevrolet player of the game from each team. Chevrolet will make a $1,000 contribution to each university's general scholarship fund. Man, I wonder who that might be for Penn State. We're going to have to think about that one pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> Second down, and here's a nice first down run for Hayes. Jaron Hayes goes up. Mitchell and Mayer make the stop. And we're down to 2.21 remaining in the first half. <laughs> it's amazing. People are still taking pictures. I don't know what they can see out here if they can even find Larry Johnson in the mass of humanity in those blue jerseys on the sideline. But they're trying to get a picture of this guy. That is the third time he's rushed for over 200 yards this year. And one other time he rushed for over 300. He had 327, which is the single game record. And that was in their last outing. The win over Indiana. If they leave him in, I can tell you he's going to better that too, but he might be done for the day. The throw almost picked off by Brian Scott. It was intended for Charles Rogers. Coming up on Friday, warm up the leftovers and join ABC Sports for a great college football doubleheader. Action starts at noon Eastern. It'll be Texas A&M against number 11, Texas. Then at 3.30 Eastern, number 17, Colorado, after their week off this week, taking on Nebraska, also idle today. That'll be Friday at ABC Sports. Uh, Class of college football. and a couple Bob of classics, and, huh? Yep, Bob and Swanee and I and the group will be uh, down in Lincoln. Nebraska's tough to beat at home. Yes, they are. Texas uh, able to do it this year to snap their long winning streak, but uh, Colorado will come in a little more rested and uh, maybe not as banged up. But Colorado knows they're going to the Big 12 championship game. The other participant will be decided in the Texas Tech Oklahoma battle. And that's going on later on today. Third down and eight coming up here for Michigan State in the final minute and a half of the first half. Third down has not been too special for the Spartans today. 0 for eight. Dowdell, here comes a blitz. Swings it out to Hayes out of the backfield. And Hayes trying to get to that first down marker. I don't think he got there. I think he's about a yard or two shy. Nice tough effort after the reception. And it's going to be fourth down at almost two. Larry Johnson's got his helmet back on. I think he's going to try to sneak back out there whether Joe wants him to go or not. I bet we don't see much of him in the second I, half. I don't think so either. We might see more of him here in the last minute. I don't know, but Jason Daly will be set to punt Bryant Johnson on the other end. Bryant Johnson with a big game of the punt return and a reception for a touchdown. He's going to get another shot here from the 21. Broke two tackles before he got out to about the 31-yard line. Some of you will be going to another ball game with this one right now, at least Penn State in total command. Larry Johnson, well, maybe they're going to call him back. I don't know. I think he wants to go back out and his coach, well, he's going to win the, I don't know if there was any kind of argument, discussion. <laughs> All the eyes of this crowd are on one guy right now. That's right. When he turned around away from the bench and went out on the field, there was a, there was a loud cheer. So the man of the two hours so far with 279 yards, there and now they're taking him out. I think Joe wanted him to get a standing O, so everybody knew he was out there maybe. Whether or not we'll see him anymore, I don't know. He already has a single game record. He has the Penn State season record. He has the 2,000 yard club. He maybe has a pretty good shot now to Heisman Trophy and maybe he's done for the day. We'll yeah. just have to wait. And I, see. I don't think that worked right. I think Joe, I, I think Joe wanted to bring him off to a, a loud ovation and a thank you for all that he's done. And all he got was some booze from the <laughs> crowd. Saying, I want to leave him in. Yeah, they want to leave him in.